Hello and welcome. You are watching Guiding Text YouTube channel, and in today's video, we will be talking about Kindle's new application which is now available for Android and iOS based smartphones. Now Kindle is the go-to resource for people who love reading books and with this new application Amazon has added a ton of features that makes reading books on your smartphone really easy. So without any further ado let's get started with our today's video which talks about six interesting features that the new Kindle app has to offer. So with the new app, the first thing that we notice is the revamped user interface. Even before we start talking about the user interface, let's take a look at the new Kindle app icon, which earlier used to feature a kid reading under a tree. But with the new logo, Amazon has offered a silhouette of the kid while the product title Kindle and the tree have been removed entirely from the logo. The refreshed Kindle app user interface sports a cleaner and a more streamlined look. The new user-friendly design makes it easier to navigate through the app. Bookers have been made larger that helps you browse easily. And another welcome change is the inclusion of Amazon's custom Bookerly font for the book titles. Number two, inclusion of light and dark themes for the app. The update comes with two new themes, dark and light. And as the name suggests, it changes the look and feel of the application based on whichever option you choose. It must be noted that the theme changes only applies to the application and not to the book that you are about to open in the application. If you're opening a book, the book will still have a white background for a relaxed reading experience. Even though a darker theme has also been included in the application, but I personally feel that a lighter version or the lighter theme of the application gives you a bit more relaxed reading. And if you are using the light mode, don't forget to turn on the blue light filter so that you don't strain your eyes while reading that book. Number three, the new bottom navigation bar. There is a new navigation bar at the bottom of the app comprising of a button that allows you to quickly return to the book you are reading. The one tap access feature automatically shows an icon of the book that you are currently reading. The navigation bar follows you around so you can quickly return to the book you are currently reading from anywhere in the app. Another welcome inclusion for the application specifically for Android users is that now Android users can buy books directly from the navigation bar. Although the iPhone users or the iOS users will have to wait for some time to get this feature for their app. Number four, inclusion of a handy search bar. In the new application, a search bar has been placed at the top of the revamped Kindle app. This can be accessed from anywhere in the application. Using this handy search bar, you can easily and very quickly search for the books that you have already downloaded on your device or books that are available on the Amazon Kindle store, whichever you like to buy. Now with the new application, Amazon has added a nifty new feature to control WordWise on your application. You can choose to enable or disable this feature and you can also choose the intensity of the explanations that WordWise can offer to you while you are reading a book. And last but not the least, we have a better dictionary with the new updated Kindle app. You can look for the meaning of words using the built-in dictionary. In order to get this feature, you will have to download the dictionary first though. After you've installed it, long press on a word and a box will appear with the meaning of the word. You can click on the dictionary and get the full definition of the word. But to make use of this dictionary feature, make sure that your device is always connected to internet as all the information for the dictionary is coming directly from the dictionary server. Well, to end this video, I will definitely say that the smartphone can never match the experience that you can get on a dedicated Kindle device. But with the new application, Amazon has tried a lot to offer you a number of features that can make reading on your smartphone really, really easy. And with features like a blue light filter, which is already available on your smartphone, I think we are not far away from those days where we can read an entire book on a smartphone without straining our eyes. And with this, we conclude this video with a hope that you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Or if you have disliked this video, then there's a button down below for that as well. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel. And as always, Remember that the bell icon is pressed so that you get all the latest notifications whenever we post a new video. And remember, we post a new video every Tuesday and Friday. We cover topics on tech and tech that can really help you. This is Rahul Gupta signing off in. You are watching Guiding Tech.